Hi there! It's me again, Miss Joyce, and welcome to another awesome episode in science. Because learning science is fun. Let us recall first our last lesson. What did you still remember in our last lesson? Alright, your answer is correct. Last time, we discussed about the brief history and basis of naming elements. Let's try if you really learned something from our last lesson. Get a paper and a pen. Do your best! Okay, let's check it. Leave your scores in the comment section. Wow, you all did it well. Alright, so let us now have another interesting lesson. So what are we going to learn today? 1. Identify elements and compounds from food labels and other products available at home, market, and the community. 2. Recognize important elements and compounds that are useful to humans. There are many elements present in the food you eat. Whether it is raw like banana or processed like banana chips, biscuits, milk, and juice. These are mostly nutrients which the human body needs in order to function well. Some of these are calcium, magnesium, zinc, and selenium. From the product labels, information about the contents of the food is written, named as nutrition facts and ingredients. So, who have tried a cereal drink? If you're going to look at the ingredients, what are the elements and compounds that we can find in the label? Yes, you are correct. We can find iron and zinc. And these are elements. We also have sucrose, sodium chloride, zinc sulfate, and iron pyrophosphate. And these are all compounds. How about a chocolate candy? I know you have already tried one. So what are the elements and compounds present in a chocolate candy. Can you give one? That's correct. We have sodium, calcium, and iron. And these are elements. How about compounds? You got it right. We have sugar, calcium chloride, citric acid, and sodium bicarbonate. And these are all compounds. Now, look around you and try to find the product you have at home. Read the label and write down the elements and compounds present in it. So you see, these are many elements and compounds present in the food labels of products available at home, market, or in the community. Now, let's find out how important elements and compounds are in our daily lives. Let us have some examples. Elements and their uses. 1. Oxygen. It is the most important gas that everyone needs for breathing. 2. Iodine. It is the element needed to have a healthy thyroid gland. 3. Calcium. It is an essential mineral that makes up bones and teeth. 4. Iron. It is one of the components of hemoglobin and myoglobin. 
5. Potassium. It maintains heartbeat within the regular range, controls electrolyte balance, and helps to prevent high blood pressure. 6. Sodium. Regulates amount of body fluid involved in nerve transmission. 7. Fluorine. Strengthens bone and tooth structure. Compounds and their uses. 1. Water. It is the most vital compound in the world. We cannot survive without the presence of it. Water is used for drinking, cleaning, washing, cooking, and other activities. 2. Sodium Chloride Commonly known as salt, it is used to give flavor to our food and used for food preservations. 3. Hydrochloric Acid It is found in our stomach. It helps digestion. 4. Acetyl Salicylic Acid Commonly known as aspirin, it serves as a pain reliever and reduces fever. 5. Methane Methane is a natural gas that is used to refine crude oil. 6. Table sugar Acts as a sweetener, preservative, and flavoring. 7. Baking soda is a leavening agent used in baking. Alright, so did you learn a lot from our lesson today? Let's summarize the things that we learned today. We learned that there are many elements and compounds that are useful to humans. Some are useful in our body. Some are useful in the food we eat. Some are found in the things we use. And most of these elements and compounds are just around us. Now, get a paper and a pen and try to answer the following. Okay, let's check your answers. Leave your scores in the comment section. So that's it. I hope you enjoy our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video lesson. Goodbye!